Hello and welcome everyone to your favorite questionable at best YouTube Anvil conversion channel. I've already shown you how to convert a Parkside Performance Impact Driver into an Impact Wrench. A link to that video will be down in the video description. However, a question came up from people who don't have access to a little. And it just so happens that I recently visited an Aldi store and I thought of those people. Now, look at what I found there. This is a regular brushed Ferex impact driver, which I bought for £15. I bought a 5 amp active energy Ferex battery, around about the same price. After that, I went on eBay and somehow won an auction for this Ferex Pro impact driver with the 2 amp battery for around £20. The other Ferex was brand new before I got to it. So starting with this one, because I think it's easier to find at a reasonable price, what's the big idea then? Well, if you are sick of breaking adapters, well, this video is the right one for you. Because we will exchange this anvil with a bit of modification to an anvil like this, which has a place for half inch sockets as well as an opening at the front with a magnetic holder for quarter inch bits. This impact driver, as you can see on the box, is rated at 180 newton meters maximum torque. So, first up, let's test that. We've got the more powerful 5 amp battery, quarter inch two half inch adapter going in and a 17 millimeter socket to test it on some wheel boards. Five amp battery, three bars, fresh off the charger. Ferex, active energy, two amp battery, three bars, also fresh off the charger. Don't just take my word for it, let's verify that. 3.6 volts on the 2 amp and 20.6 volts also on the 5 amp. Okay, so starting out with 180 newton meters. And 200 on the other volt. So, no mode selection on the Ferex, just the one speed. Well, I think we went a bit too far with the 180 newton meter claim, because as we know, the adapter will eat up some power. Back to the table. In this case, I reckon it's time to try the Ferex Pro version, a brushless motor, which in general should be more powerful than the brush motor in the non-pro version. Back to the car. Same five amp battery. Again, no power selection, full power from the go. Same 180 newton meter bolt, Let's try the 200 newton meters. I am fully aware that these tools are not meant for this sort of job. However, I think it would be rather nice if we could make them do that sort of a job because it might be useful for someone to have something like that. I mean, 15 pounds for this or something like this if you manage to find it on eBay and then convert it into an impact wrench I think that's quite a deal. So, let's see what we can do. We're starting with the more difficult conversion. When you're putting it back together, please remember there are two different types of screws on the tool, a larger one and a smaller one. The four larger ones go here at the front.
Now it's time to remove the anvil by getting rid of this O-ring. There are going to be two metal balls in there. Put them aside. Yeah, that was not meant to happen. Remove the anvil. Also, we need to get rid of this bushing. To remove the bushing, put some sort of socket in there. A bearing puller. And there you have it. There is something like a washer in here, but just leave it in there. You'll see what I mean in a minute. So this is the original bushing that we pulled out, and this is the replacement. They are the same, both in terms of height and outside diameter. However, the inside diameter of the new one is slightly larger at 16 millimeters instead of 14 on the old one. I'll put a link to a bushing with a slightly larger outside diameter down in the video description because you need slightly more than a 24 millimeter outside diameter. Um, if you get a bushing with an exactly 24 millimeter outside diameter, it won't fit correctly. So ideally you get one with a 25 millimeter outside diameter and then just use some sandpaper to grind it down a bit to make it fit. Put it back in the same way you pulled the other one out. And there you have it. And now, two things left to look at here. The anvil, which we pulled out. As I said, 40 millimeter diameter here. Eight millimeter hole at the bottom. And the thickness of this part is five millimeters. The closest to that is this anvil. Links for it down in the video description. Eight millimeter hole at the bottom. As I said, 16 millimeters diameter here, hence the bushing that we put in. However, the problem is the thickness down here. It is at six millimeters. So how you get that down to five, I'll leave down to you. Um, you could machine it down, you could grind it down, you can even sandpaper it down if you've got two weeks to spare. This is what you need to end up with. Five millimeters. And the final thing is this sort of washer here. The thickness of it is around two millimeters and we can't reuse it because the inside diameter of it is 14 millimeters. We need something with 16 millimeter inside diameter. And I found this on AliExpress. Again, links down in the video description. 16 millimeter inside diameter. And the correct outside diameter in order to fit in there, as you can see. Perfect. This is made from some polymer, which I'm sure is not Teflon, and I won't say it is, because I don't want my YouTube channel to be taken down. Apply some grease to it and pop it in. Fits perfectly, as you can see. After that, apply some grease to the new anvil and put everything back together. And so, once you've done this, you have a tool which you can use for quarter inch hex bits or half inch sockets. And now, I kid you not, it's time to move on to the easiest conversion ever. Remove this as we did last time. No need to open up the entire tool this time. 
Just wait and see how easy they made it for us. Just undo these four bolts around the front casing. Remove the front casing. The diameter of the anvil is 16 millimeters. Hole at the bottom, eight millimeters. And the thickness here is six millimeters. So this anvil, which you can get off AliExpress, is a straight swap. There is nothing more that you need to do. Just unscrew the front, pop this in, and then you're ready to go. There is a washer in there. However, as I just showed you, 16 millimeter diameter here means that it will fit right on here. No problems at all. Just apply some grease. Put the four screws back in. Just have a look at how nice it looks. What do you think? Second hand impact driver, 15, 20 pound, five pound anvil conversion? Let me know down in the comments and let's see what we've made. Let's test them out then. 200 Newton meters. First up, the brushless model rated at 180 newton meters with the 2 amp battery. Two hundred again. Let's try the brushed version. First up with the two amp. This is also rated for 180 newton meters. Bolts are set to 200. And now with the five amp, let's see if it does any better. Let's try the brushless one with the five amp. And now I think it's time for a head to head with the park side. Park side set to mode four, full four amp battery. Staying at 200 newton meters. And once again, just to make sure. I reckon it's an easier job for the park side to undo 200 newton meters. However, this is rated at 226 from the factory. Whereas these two are rated at 180 newton meters from the factory. Let's see the pro version. Let's try the non-pro version, regular old brushed motor. 